हेलो एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून एम आई ऑडिबल गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल राइट थैंक यू सो टुडे इज जस्ट अ बेसिक इंट्रोडक्टरी सेशन of this upskill course that uh, we have started and uh, you all have joined the group already so here i will just take 15 to 20 minutes of yours and i'll be explaining how we have to move ahead with this course and how we can complete this entire course within 1 to 1.5 months right so firstly what are the advantages that we are doing this course especially students who are pursuing actuarial science uh, you might be seeing a lot of job opportunities on linkedin wherein the major requirement uh, in all these job opportunities is sql vba in some of them you might also get uh, r programming machine learning in some of them you also get tableau power bi uh, python so these are the different courses that they require. Require you to know uh, before you know uh, getting that particular job. Now, why is this happening? Why is this change happening? Because obviously we deal with lot of data, right? Especially uh, in actuarial science, we deal with a lot of data. So it is very important that we manage this data sets properly. Now, most of these companies they use their own uh, softwares like Profit and all these different software which are developed by the company, or maybe they have outsourced uh, or taken the software from some other company. So they have their some inbuilt or uh softwares which they use it's specific to that that particular company but on top of this it is very important that we also know these basic other uh softwares or programming languages uh why because again it is very important and recently if you all see that there is a lot of demand for these all courses that we have kept in this upskill course so what we have done is that we have taken uh four uh to six important courses together to create this particular program so that you all can just within 1.5 months uh be uh, you all can just know about all these courses know what all important aspects what all important functions and codes are there within these different programming languages what we'll all also do is that we'll share some case studies with you all we'll be having lot of in class assignments so that you all can relate with the data with the current data and you all can relate that data and you all can import that data within within these particular programming languages that we have and actually you know it will be very interesting to perform coding on these uh data that we have right so we will be using a lot of data sets which are there currently and we'll be importing this into these particular programming languages so that it becomes easier for us to interpret and it will become very interesting for us to learn these new skills because otherwise it becomes sometimes it becomes a little difficult or monotonous to learn these uh skills so that is why using these different data sets will help us to you know uh boost our confidence and it helps it creates that uh, you know uh, creativity and it it helps you to uh, go through the entire course right so that is there now i have what i have done over here is uh, the four major courses which were offered to you was vba sql power bi and r and machine learning R and machine learning. So here, what I have done is that I have taken, uh, I have divided into number of hours and number of days. Just one second. We have number of days and number of hours. Uh, in in which time you can complete the entire course. Now this might differ. Uh, so I have taken actually the maximum number of days which a student should take to complete one particular course. Over here. if it is taking you a little bit longer no problem just stay in touch with me so all these uh different courses which you see will be provided to you over uh video so all the videos will be shared to you and we'll guide you as to how you have to move ahead now after each course that you complete we'll give you a small test so you will be also given a mock test platform wherein you will be a uh, test platform basically you can also take mock tests in between so you will be uh, given that particular platform wherein you will appear for a test and once you you will be given maximum of two attempts 
to clear the test and once you clear the test we'll provide you the certificate for that particular course right at the end of the entire course once you complete the entire course that is approximately after one one and a half months we will be conducting few sessions on placement training and assistance wherein we will be guiding you um, on different uh, questions what all different important questions are being asked on related to these different programming languages that we have how you should prepare for interviews uh, we'll focus more on your communication skills uh, then how we can actually use these programming languages within uh, answering questions like guesstimates so all that will be done at the end of one and 1.5 months that we'll have and also throughout the course when the videos will be provided to you we'll be having uh, one or two weekly classes wherein we'll be solving all the doubts which you all face and we'll have a one interaction class wherein we all will be discussing uh, if you all are coming up with your own solution to a particular problem set or you all are coming up with any uh, particular new codes or you uh, want to discuss about some topics so all that new updates so all that thing it's it's a kind of a discussion session that we'll have every week right so it will be, it will be a very open session wherein we'll have a google meet session uh, all of you will switch on your cameras and we'll ha interact over these few topics right so we'll also ask questions to each other and within that session only we'll be also covering some important aspects of placement training right so that also will be there so now let us quickly uh, just uh, let me take you through as to number of hours required for these courses now these are the four compulsory courses that we have offered within this uh, upscale program that we have launched so vba uh, will be approximately 15 hours now wh why we have reduced the content is that we have made the content very crisp so that you all in the limited time which you have obviously with your exams with your other professional courses with your other commitments you all can complete this course within 1.1 to 1.5 months and still uh, we have made it and we have structured it in a, such a manner so that within these specific hours and days only you will be able to get a very 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 good understanding of all these programming languages now let me before starting just just let me clarify one more small thing over here is that there is a difference between someone who is a data scientist and someone who is an analyst so you all uh, generally who are from the actuarial background will be pursuing uh, or will be going for the role of actuarial analyst right so when we say analyst we are not coders we are not sitting here and typing and creating those big big codes we are someone who will have certain data we want to interpret that data we should have that business acumen uh, and that uh, domain knowledge when I say domain knowledge you might have cleared many actuarial papers before or if you're pursuing some other financial uh, you know other finance related courses for example CA, MBA, CFA so you have that uh, knowledge with you which you can use which you will use to interpret the data which is given to you and now you have to use this data and you have to take out whatever output you want or predict some results that you want using these different tools that we have so basically these tools will help you to achieve your result in a better and in an effective manner right so that is very very important so here we are not sitting down and we are learning codes we are actually understanding how these codes can be used within our own businesses within our own personal life and how we can use these codes these different programming languages uh, to make our life better right so be it any course you are pursuing be it actuarial science or any other financial courses you are pursuing all these are very very important tools that you will be using moving ahead so the first four courses are the compulsory courses and why we have made them compulsory is because VBA is the back end of Excel right so most of you might be knowing at least basic Excel so once you know basic Excel it is it also becomes important that you uh, if you are working on Excel on a daily basis and you are maybe doing the same routine job weekly monthly quarterly then it becomes important that you automate few portions now how can you automate these few jobs is that by using VBA which is the back end of Excel 
so you will be learning how to create macros here you will be learning you will be writing your very first code in vba you can also you will also learn that by just click of a single button how different tasks can be performed how you can link different excel spreadsheets together how you can link different worksheets together so all these different very very important things you can learn using vba now after this 15 hours so vba will uh, the content of vba the content of vba is approximately 15 hours and it will take you 10 hours and here when i am saying 10 hours you have to uh, when i say number of days every day you have to give 2 hours every day you will have to give if not 2 1.5 to 2 hours every day you will have to take out for this course maybe maybe at the end of the day when you are done with your job maybe you are done with your day you are done you have done with you have been done with your studies anything college at the end just take out 1.5 to 2 hours because see you don't have to sit down and write notes over here it is all that you have to see and practice on your laptop so it's nothing writing over here right or nothing like memorizing something it's all about seeing understanding the codes and trying to practice the same codes that you have uh, done or seen right so uh, 15 hours of VBA will take you 10 days why I'm saying 10 days because once you see the video you also practice that and we give you some in class assignments so you solve those in class assignments so that is why it will take you 10 days and then within this 10 days only you will have to give the test and we'll give you the certificate once you clear this particular test right so this will be your vba and again if you are using excel a lot in your uh, uh, life then vba is something which will actually help you to automate many things in excel right then and also we have a lot of projects within vba so that it becomes easier for you then we have SQL, something which is very, very important in today's world. We all must know SQL. Why I am saying this? Because in if you open an Excel spreadsheet, you will see that there is not more than 1 million rows, right? So after that, uh, if you have a data, for example, a very huge data set, which contains more than 1 million or let me just take more than 75,000 of rows it will not be you cannot use or import that data within excel so you need another programming tool like sql for data manipulation so you will be learning and sql is not something which i will say it's a hardcore coding no it's not at all hardcore coding it is very very simple in terms that it uses basic english words like select delete insert so it uses these basic english words and by using just these basic english words it creates beautiful codes right so and these codes are also known as queries in sql which are very 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 basic and even you without even studying if you just go through them you will also be able to understand that what i am trying to do because it is so simple right you have functions like and all these basic connect uh, are there very very basic English words they have taken to write these queries in SQL which is very very important for data manipulation data collection you can also create queries joining queries and it is very good for database management it is somewhat like MS access not exactly but yes it is very very good for database management right again it is 15 hours approximately and actually it will take you less than 10 days why because it is easier because the uh, wordings the codes are very much easier than VBA I will say but again it is very very interesting so I have kept it as 10 days I have taken a buffer of one or two days so that you complete your test on time and you get your certificate then we move to power bi so power bi is something which is help which helps you to visualize your data and again it's a part of uh, it's 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 given by the microsoft so it is free uh, all these softwares all these programming languages that we are learning are free freely available and you can use it freely it's free of cost so this power bi uh, is again something which is helpful in visualizing your data you can create beautiful dashboards for example if i am creating a project if i want to predict the mortality after 20 years and i want to create 
create a project uh, and that project contains country wise city wise or maybe region wise uh, you know gender wise data uh, segregated in the form of pie charts column charts so you can actually create an entire dashboard wherein you will be it will be split into four or five slides and you can just and it does not require coding it does not require much of a coding power bi so it's free of uh, difficult codes i will say and you can without using of codes you can create amazing visualization and it also helps you to actually you know what it does in power bi is that suppose you have created this entire um, chart or a column chart and you actually for maybe from 1960 to 2022 you have created this amazing chart now if you just want a part of the chart for example i just want from 1990 to 2000 i want the result for 10 years you can easily there is a slider which you can create and you can scroll the slider and you can get the data and this scrolling of slider and this is just an example which i gave you this can be easily done by anyone so creating those sliders those dashboards is important and it is very very interactive especially for someone who is not from the coding background at all they can easily understand and see what is happening so at the end being in actuarial field or any field you are in you have to present your data to someone to maybe your client or to be maybe your manager so if you are presenting it in the form of a beautiful dashboard instead of numbers using lots of numbers it will at the end it will obviously be very fruitful and it will help them understand what you are saying better so it's like storytelling right so you are actually storytelling your data then so it's 10 hours and i have kept it as 5 hours only because you will be easily able to cover it within this, these 5 days uh, you might be might have to give 2 uh, hours every day you will be uh, given a test so you will take up those that test this test will not be mcq based obviously because you'll have to create a proper dashboard we'll give you a project and at the end again once it is done we'll give you the certificate then we move to r and machine learning so this r and machine learning will be approximately of 25 Hours and why? Uh, because we start from the very basics. So those who know basics of R, they can just skip it. Those who don't, we cover the basic of R as well. And then we move to machine learning, wherein we'll be building on different models, starting from simple multiple regression to random forest. to uh, naive based uh, model to uh, maybe uh, decision trees. So we'll be, so we'll be creating. we'll be creating we'll be creating different uh, these different models over here right so all these will be covered in machine learning now what is machine learning basically it is predicting right it is predicting uh, data uh, in future or maybe forecasting data so you have historical data with you for example i have historical data of age uh, gender weight occupation nutrition level workout level all these different data i have of a particular country or maybe a group of people and i also have their past mortality rates what is mortality rates death rates now using this i want to predict i will create a model first as to how you are linking these different parameters or these different variables of age weight gender occupation level of nutrition standard of living income all these variables will be connected to your mortality rate and this will and this i will connect using a model whatever model maybe you are using a simple regression a uh, multiple regression model or maybe you are using some other uh, models like random forest or so and then after you have created this model then you will be importing some additional extra data into your this model and this will actually help you to predict the uh, outcome the mortality rate of the new data which you have imported right so it is very very interesting machine learning i think i believe is the most interesting part of the entire uh, this data analytics domain or you can say analytics domain because if you don't know machine learning you are actually missing out on the entire analytics portion because this is only the place where you will learn different models how to create different models and actually how to predict because at the end you want to predict 
or forecast or want to calculate the outcome for future right and you can only do this by using machine learning so trust me it is something which is the most interesting portion of your entire course right so it is approximately of 25 hours and it will take you 15 to 20 days yes this is especially for those who will start from the very basic students who are not starting from the very basic they might complete it within 15 days. Students who are starting from the basic, they will take 20 days to complete this course. And then again, we'll be having a test. And after that, and in the test, I'll give you, I'll give you we'll give you a proper project where you have to construct a model. For example, I'll give you another example over here. Um, we created a model on we have the entire employees data of a particular company we had their name their gender their age their uh, income level then their education level uh, then the number of years they have worked in my company number of years of experience they had in total uh, then extra skills they have then any extra projects they have done uh, additional rewards or awards they have got on the basis of these so they were huge it was a huge data set which I had and using this huge data I will predict whether this particular person will be promoted or not so it is actually also used in HR if you say that machine learning is only used in the world of finance or statistics no it can also be used in HR so now I can create a model an unbiased model wherein if I just take the input of a particular employee and I put all these variables their age, gender, weight, uh, uh, sorry, income and their position in the company, all these different when I uh, experience all these different things when I put it and I will get the final result that whether I want to promote this particular employee or not. So this it actually gives you an unbiased opinion, right? And it actually when I had this data of a particular company and it actually was very shocking to see that gender is also one of the determinants of whether the person will be promoted or not. So th this way you can also analyze that the being promoted is your final outcome, right? So being promoted is how much related to these different categories, whether it is related to gender, whether, whether it is related to the years of experience, whether it is related to even your source of recruitment. If your source was source of recruitment might have been that you were recruited uh, through some reference, right? Then the chances of getting promoted is higher. So it depends on company to company again, but this was the result. It was a shocking result that we got from this company, right? So it actually helps you understand that how these different variables are actually connected with each other. Again, very, very interesting to know because we are actually uh, in a world wherein we again deal with a lot of data. So we should know that what these, you know, mortality rates or maybe being promoted or not is how it is related. So next uh, we have, so these are the ma major courses that you all have taken if you have taken some additional courses so these are additional courses so if you have taken these additional courses like python so python is basically focused more towards finance so we will be covering all the finance related like stock market and correlation in the stock market and all those concepts so we will start again from the very basic of python considering that you know nothing in python it is again approximately of 20 hours and it will take you 15 to 70, 17 days to complete this course and at the end again we will give you the certificate once you clear the test. So Python is majorly focused on uh, somewhere related to finance topics which are covered in finance topics like CAPM which is capital asset pricing uh, models so all these different models all these different things will be covered somewhat time series is also taken these things will be covered in your Python and lastly we have advanced Excel so if you have taken advanced Excel this is approximately 15 hours and it will uh, you will be able to complete it within seven days only uh, why again advanced Excel is very important because in this course of 15 hours you will be learning about simulations how to carry out simulations in Excel you will be learning different add-ins uh, these add-ins are data analysis tool pack solver package uh, and you have also excel stat so you have
have different add-ins which you will be learning and covering you will you will be learning how to create amazing pivot tables and within pivot tables also we have different features like slicers and all these different charts like waterfall charts which is very very important if you are in the finance uh, background if you have the finance background so all these are uh, very very important topics of advanced excel and then uh, we also have uh data tables and in data tables we take amazing we have taken one amazing case study wherein it uh, you will be able to create uh, amazing you know uh, interactive uh, kind of a thing in your uh, excel so again advanced excel is something if you just know basic excel then it is something that you should uh, do because uh, again there are many 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 features and functions which we yet don't know about excel and it will actually help to make your life better why because there are many functionalities which will actually you know improve uh, your entire work so this is the entire uh, thing which we have covered so the first four are uh, compulsory if you want to remove you can remove one one uh, from this particular four courses but these are four compulsory courses that we offer and if these two are the additional ones if you want you can take up these additional courses as well right so this is the entire structure so if you just uh, at the end i will just quickly show you all the timeline so here if you consider the first four courses uh, it will approximately take you 40 days to cover the entire course so roughly one one in, between one one and a half months and if additionally you are taking up these additional courses so you can add more additional 15 hours to it so somewhat two months if you are taking up these additional courses right uh, if you are taking up this is if you take up python and additionally you can add maybe 50 days or 10 days actually so in total 65 or 50 days if you take the additional uh, courses as well right so this is how you will be able to complete within 1.5 months your entire four courses two months if you take up the additional courses as well right so uh, this is it and then obviously plus uh, we have the placement training as well these placement training will be uh, over we'll give you again some videos for these placement training and on top of it we'll be conducting some classes at the end as well and also throughout the uh, entire course right so if you all have any questions you all can ask now any questions anyone no all right so yes tell me no so that is what i mentioned that if you see over here that uh, for example consider vba right if you go and study vba uh, we also have a course on vba which is actually of 30 hours right and this is a 15 hours course so it is actually designed in such a manner that it will not only cover the basic but also it will cover many many portions of your advanced uh, vba as well so that together you will be able as i mentioned you will be able to understand right and visualize your codes why again we are not here to uh, become coders right we are here to become analysts so we'll be dealing with data as well so it, we don't only cover the basic along with that we cover many aspects of advanced vba also or maybe advanced sql or maybe advanced power bi as well because an ml machine learning when i say it actually covers advanced versions of your r because these tools are never ending right uh, even 30 hours is very less so if you want to study something i think 20 hours 15 to 20 hours is within 15 to 20 hours you can actually grasp any skill be it any skill it just takes 15 to 20 hours dedicatedly if you are putting in you can easily understand and have a very very good understanding of any skill so 15 to 20 hours is what we have taken over here if you want the full course you can take take it up no problem in that but this is something which is designed in such a way that once you do this vba you can actually end up doing other you will actually end up uh, learning other things as well easily so that's not a very big thing over here
because see once you know the basic and once you know the many advanced aspects of a particular skill or a particular knowledge you can also uh, use them to create your own models maybe if i am teaching you three models you can easily create fourth model on the knowledge of these three models right so we not only basics but obviously we have just covered maybe few initial sessions of basic then it is all the advanced topics which has been covered right correct 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 all right any more questions any more questions all right so now uh, if you all have any further questions you all can get in touch uh, with us and i'll just give you the numbers over here right okay thank you so much